we're going to have a quick look at some pyramids yeah because you have to be able to calculate the volume and the surface area of a pyramid now i will give you example questions of what you can expect and um, i'll just tell you that unfortunately yeah, you do not have to remember uh, all of these formulas anymore i haven't talked about pyramids cones and spheres they will give you the formula in the question and you just have to be able to use the formula properly yeah which is <coughs> excuse me unfortunate because they look quite intimidating but they make complete sense yeah anyway in a different video i will still show you why the formulas look the way they do um, if you're interested yeah because then you understand those formulas which is a lot more useful anyway if i talk about the volume of a pyramid so volume of a pyramid i have to do the following but again this formula they're going to give to you I have to take the area of the base, yeah, so base area, yeah, I have to times that then by the height, all right, so times the height, and all of that I divide by three, and that's going to give me the volume of a pyramid, yeah, so you could also say the volume of a pyramid is one over three at a third times the base area, base area, times the height. If that still fits there, times the height, okay? And instead of doing divided by three, times a third. Now, I just quickly sketched uh, two pyramids. Um, a pyramid always gets its name looking at the base, yeah? So for instance, this pyramid, what kind of a figure, what kind of a polygon is its base? Well, it's a square, so we would call that a square-based pyramid, yeah? But if that would be a rectangle, the base, it would be a re rectangular-based uh, pyramid, yeah? And over here, I sketched a pyramid, it's not, it's not fantastic, but what is the base? It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, so a hexagon, so that's a hexagonal pyramid, a hexagonal-based pyramid, okay? So you can have triangular-based pyramids, um, and you have all sorts of, um, yeah, uh, possibilities, okay? But the name of the pyramid depends on its base. So in this particular case, if I had to find the volume, I'd have to find the area of the base, which is uh, a rectangle, yeah? so it would be length times width, yeah? or if, if it's a square, it's also length times width, yeah? And then I times it by the height. Now be careful, because the height is how high it is, all right? So that is the height. So I'm not interested in the slant height. I don't care about that. No, I'm interested in what we can say the perpendicular height. So if I put it inside the square base pyramid, yeah, that will roughly look like this. So 90 degrees on the base, how high is it? Okay, I'm not interested in the slant height. Same for this hexagonal base pyramid. The height is the length of the line I'm drawing now. Yeah, so it's 90 degrees on the base. I'm not interested in the slant heights. No, I would find uh, to calculate the volume. I would calculate the area of the base. Yeah, and then I would times it by the height, which is the perpendicular height. And then I would divide the whole thing by three or times it by a third. Okay, so that is the volume of a pyramid. And again, in a different video, I will show you why the formula looks the way it does. It complete, uh, makes complete sense. Um, but you don't have to remember those formulas anymore, unfortunately. Yeah? So they will give you this formula in the question, you just have to be able to use it. Yeah? So, surface area then, let me continue in black. The surface area for a pyramid, you just, for any other yeah, three-dimensional figure actually, you just have to find the areas of all the faces and then you plus them. Okay, so then they will give you the values in the question that you can find the area of the base, that you can find the area of those triangles around, and then for the surface area, you plus all of those areas together. Okay, so it is the, the sum of the areas of all your faces. Okay, that is surface area. So there's not, there's not a formula to calculate the surface area of a pyramid. All right, so. Um, have a look at one or two example questions uh, that will show you uh, what you can expect. Yeah? And if you're really interested, yeah, and I suggest you have a look as well at that particular video where I explain these formulas, because it's good to know anyway where they come from. 
See you there.